All right, so this is the dedicated account that I that I that I've been doing the past two months since my daughter was born. Man, this is a messed up talk. This is this is my trailer. Look at this talk. Man. Hope the wind don't get up in there. Hey, the guy, the guy that does the preloads here at Georgia Pacific. He was a brand new driver when he got this, this job doing, doing preloads. So, with that being said, this guy, he doesn't have any bad habits. He doesn't have any bad habits. Now, he does have this habit of putting the strap over the rub rail. But this is a uh, veneer up under this trailer. So, sometimes that veneer, it sticks out past the trailer. And you can't get the strap up in there. So, yeah, this guy, he doesn't have any bad habits just yet. Because, you know, he was trained on this job. So, he does it to the best of his ability. This guy can talk pretty good. Like, look at these straps. These straps are tight. You don't have to do anything to this load other than walk around, you know, double check everything. But yeah, it's a pretty good, uh, it's a pretty good topper, this guy that does this job. So all I gotta do is hook up to it. That's all I gotta do. I've already, Drop my landing gear. I already pulled my pulled my kingpin. Well, pulled the fifth wheel, the hook to the kingpin. I already disconnected the airlines. I'm supposed to leave this guy some bungees. But see what I do. See, see the bungees. When I know I'm coming here, I go ahead and put the bungees up there in between the tarps. So let me hook up, and I'm about to hit the road. Guess where I made it to, gang? Guess where I made it to? Pilot. Look what I got right here. That OBD scan tool. I finally did that YouTube review that the lady kept, kept bugging me about. I finally did it. Hey, these things is not as, it's not as easy as it looks. I mean, it's easy to hook it up and scan the truck or whatever, but it's just not easy actually presenting it on a video. You know, especially the technical parts of it. You know, when I got to talk about it and be technical and all that. That part ain't easy. I got a guy over here beside me got his truck open. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe he knows what's going on. I was about to ask him if he need to borrow my tool. I let him borrow it, but. Look like he knows what's up. Yeah, if anybody catches me out on the road, if anybody catches me out on the road, it's a 100% chance that I have one of these tools with me. Because I, every time I get one, I put it in the truck and I bring it with me. So so when I have the, when I have the free time and I'm, I'm in the truck, you know, I can do the review. But I still got, I got two more at the house that I got to review. Hey, check this out. They even have a Bluetooth one for a car. It's Bluetooth. You just plug it in, no wires. You just plug it up and it Bluetooths to your phone on a smart app. But look, let me get my bags and stuff together. I'm about to go to the house. Guess what I'm about to do? I'm about to go out there and crank my grill up and I'm about to cut my grass.
I gotta get some tires on my on my on my car, man. I'm the one I'm driving right now. It ain't a car, it's a little SUV. I gotta get some tires. They don't got them at Walmart. Well, they actually have them at Walmart, but they don't have them in stock. I have to order it online and get it sent to the store. That's that's what I gotta do. But what I'm about to do right now, I'm about to go up here to this little hood, this little hood spot I got. And just see if he happens to have some. Probably ain't gonna have none. But I'm about to find out. Little hood spot right here. I know the motherfucker probably ain't got none. But I'm gonna find out anyway. I knew they weren't gonna have them. I already knew that. Hey, I try to keep the money in the hood, you know? Try to keep the money in the hood. But they ain't got it. It's a good year place right down the street. But I'm just gonna get them for Walmart. I just ain't took the time to order them. Cause I went last week and got an oil changed. Y'all y'all remember that? When I was when I went and bought that grill. Yeah, matter of fact, I was getting the oil changed. And I was trying to get some new tires. But um they didn't have them. And then these these mother jokers told me they was like, yeah, we got them in stock in the warehouse, but you gotta order them yourself online. So I'm like, all right, you know, if, if the lady would have, you know, just ordered it for me, it would have made it a lot simpler. But they told me that I had to do it myself. Now ain't nothing wrong with that. I mean, I ain't got no problem doing it myself. But the thing about it, I just ain't, I just haven't took the time to actually do it. Maybe I should take the time. That'd be something I'd do, do tonight. So right now, I'm about to run to the barbershop real quick. Then I'm gonna run to the bank. Then I'm, then I'm gonna actually go to Walmart because I gotta buy some stuff from Walmart. Then I'm gonna go back to the house and probably cut my grass. <laughs> look different. Now I gotta head to the bank and I gotta head to Walmart. But first, I gotta go by my truck because I forgot something in my truck. So I gotta go back to the truck. Guess what I came in Walmart to get? This little shop back. Guess what I got it for? I got it for my pit boss. That one's $90. They don't have mines up here. $35, $49. The one I got is $65. So this is the one I have right here. If anybody's looking for it. And I noticed this one doesn't have that handle right here. That, that, uh, some of the other ones do. Mine doesn't have a handle. I looked at this one as well. This one has a griddle, has a uh, griddle plate on it. I didn't want that because I had just got rid of my Blackstone. So there's, there's that space for this one. Man, look at that one. It's a lot bigger. So I think I made the right choice by getting this one. So I came in Walmart just to get the shop vac. I needed some aluminum pans. I got my apple cider vinegar, my apple juice. I got my spray bottle. That's for the pit, that's uh, for tomorrow when I smoke some butts and some uh, and a whole chicken. Got me some chicken to eat right now because I'm starving. But let's get up out of here. Oh yeah, and I picked up this, this grill tray. Some heavy duty grill tray for cooking vegetables. There it is, just a little grill tray for vegetables. Let's get up out of here before I spend my whole damn paycheck. I'm supposed to be cutting grass, but somebody won't let me go outside. I guess she gonna be cutting it. 
You gonna cut the grass, Nevaeh? You gonna cut the grass? You gonna let Daddy go outside and cut the grass? That's all she wanna do, lay right here. I had her sitting in this pillow, but she started whining. Mean butt. I still, I still put this electric weed eater up against anybody's gas power weed eater. This green works pro. This thing right here do some damage. Check this out. I got the push more and the chainsaw. Now the lawnmower, I wouldn't recommend it if you got a big yard like this. It's good on the front, but don't try it in the backyard. Your battery will die too quick. I don't know if y'all saw that beer sitting on there by that weed eater. That's, that is that is a good beer. My neighbor just started washing his cars. So I'ma feel kind of bad about kicking up all this dust. Hey, I gotta cut the grass. cut see my neighbor right there he washed all three of his cars and i was out here with the ride a lot more you see the tracks and he sat on the porch and watched me but i made sure i shot all the grass this direction i put some grass seed down probably about two weeks ago so that's why i went so long without cutting it because everybody out here cut the grass but i threw that grass seed down so i didn't want to cut it right away i wanted to let it grow a little bit and it was it was pretty thick you really can't tell how thick it is until you actually cut it. So somebody asked me about the ribs. So tonight I got chicken breast, then I got some stuffed chicken breast. They stuffed with something, I bought them like that, they was already made. But the ribs, I ain't cooked ribs yet. Mainly because, you know, ribs, you wanna slow cook them. And every time I've used this grill, I've used it like when I got off work, so. I don't have like three, four hours to cook them. So I just cook stuff that I can cook quick. But tomorrow, I'm gonna cook two Boston butts and a whole chicken. Tomorrow, I got all day to do it. I already got my hair cut. I already cut the grass. I did everything I could do. So tomorrow, Saturday, I got the whole day to just do whatever I want. So that's what I'll be doing tomorrow. I'll be out here cooking on the pit boss i got me a 24 pack of modello this is only the second one and i'll probably have a couple buddies come over tomorrow too so tomorrow's gonna be a good day but it's getting dark out here y'all can't see me like john cena so hey flatbed game man big snow hope everybody enjoys their weekend whether you're at home or at the truck stop on the 34, hope everybody enjoys the weekend. I'm out.